Star Queen, and you're watching Uber Rock. I'm pleased to tell you that we're at the back stage at Hard Rock Hell and joined by the one and only legend that is Lita Ford. Hi, Lita, just Hi. one hour. Thanks for joining us in a wee quick chat because I know you're on a really tight schedule today. But I just wanted to talk to you a wee bit about how inspirational you've been as a woman in a male dominated area. Yes. And how much you have inspired so many women, including myself. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That's wonderful to hear. It's been fantastic. Um, recently, Marshall Amplifications dubbed me the first lady of rock guitar, which was amazing. Um, yeah, I've never even heard that phrase before. <laughs> and uh, so I was dubbed the first lady of, of rock guitar, and uh, Jim Marshall, who had passed away recently, who invented the Marshall Amplifier, mm -hmm. and myself were given the Icon Award at the NAMM show in California in we January. It was so wonderful. It was just a very emotional night. Mm. Yes, emotions do take part of it, a big part of music. And, oh, it's wonderful. And speaking of emotions, I've recently just finished reading your autobiography, and that is one powerful story. Your Thank emotions you. must have been up and down, recalling all those memories. and. Oh, it was really difficult to write. Mm -hmm. I had a couple of different authors that I was working with, co-authors that I was working with and they weren't quite capturing my voice. Mm -hmm. It didn't sound like me and they didn't picture things like I pictured them and I thought this isn't working and it's not true, it's not right. So I would fired one and I'd bring in somebody else and they would do the same thing. They just couldn't understand. They didn't see things in the way that I saw things. So I would fire them. I went through three different people. And finally, I just said, fuck it, I got to write this myself. Because nobody, nobody gets it, I guess, because it was such an individual um, story coming from someone who had never done this before, yes. really, yes. when you think about it. So I had... Uh, taken the entire summer I didn't take my bathrobe off <laughs> and I sat at home and wrote the entire book by myself along with a friend who was good on computer so I would write the story send it off to her and she would insert it and then we would send it off to Harper Collins mm -hmm. so it was it was good good teamwork it was one of those books that was filled with laughter and tears Yes. And you can feel your emotions coming through. It's very, hard, very, very easy coming across that how strong of a woman you actually are. Thank you. Thank you. I wanted to put that across. Mm -hmm. I wanted to put across the true story. And that's why the co authors didn't understand because they hadn't lived it. They weren't in my shoes. And even though I tried explaining to them what happened and what was you know, what what I'd gone through, they just couldn't grasp hold of the true story. And they were trying to change it and I'm like, No, it's gotta be real and as much as some of it um, pissed a lot of people off, it was true. You know? The truth always comes out anyway. Yeah, it does. It does. And it does. There's a lot I of funny things too in it. <laughs> Looking forward to tearing the stage up apart tonight. Yes. It's yes. a boy. I said, we wife when you play it in we the were UK. We all smiling at each other at Soundcheck today because <laughs> we were so happy to be here. I'm really looking forward to it. Your music has been very inspirational to me, especially in my down times. It picks me up, it makes yeah. me laugh, it makes me cry. My personal favourite of yours is Lisa. I love that song. Oh, thank you so much. And your new album, Time, Time Capsule. I mean, going back and digging all that stuff up again and re-releasing it. Yeah. And then I've heard a wee rumor that there might be a new Need a Ford album coming. We, we started writing. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a lot of songs written. We just got to get into the studio and now take them from the demo form and put them into the master form. Yeah, so you reckon later this year, maybe early next year? I think early next year. Mm -hmm. So we still have a little ways to go. And then you have to come back and promote us. Of course. Oh, you of have course. to. And you have to try and get over to Ireland. Yeah. Yeah. I've never been. Oh, you have to come over to Ireland. We're all crazy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been in Ireland. I've 
am I saying? Been in Ireland. It's where the Def Leppard guys lived, or lived in Dublin. Yeah. I remember playing Dublin, and uh, I was with uh, Joe Elliott's ex-wife, and she took me shopping, and we had the best time. We bought I bought some boots that came up to here. It was freezing out, and I said, "What can I get?" She says, oh, why don't you get some, I remember her exact words, and she said, let me get you a pair of boots that comes up to here, and she had this little voice, and so you're all sort of warm and snuggly, and I never forgot that, and I wore those boots till I could wear them no more. They were Do you know, best. back home we have a nickname for those kind of boots? Oh, yeah, what's that? They're called fuck me boots. <laughs> fuck me boots, yeah. They worked. Well, they said, later. We're going to let you go because we know you're on a tight schedule. Yep. We want to thank you very much for talking to My us. My pleasure. And I can't wait to see you tear that stage apart tonight. Right on. Right this on. This is the Dark Queen saying cheerio to all the Uber Rock guys <laughs> with Lido Fools. <laughs> Bye.